How does this animation show that the golden ratio is irrational? And why does it look so different from the one about Pi? Well, first of all, this path never loops because in order for it to loop, both of these spinning rods must go back to pointing straight up, meaning they each need to have completed a whole number amount of rotations. This can't happen with both rods at the same time, because then their speed ratio would be a whole number divided by a whole number, which is by definition rational, and their speed ratio is set to be the golden ratio, which is irrational, so the path never loops. But even irrational numbers can be approximated by fractions, and those approximations correspond to moments like these, when the path narrowly misses itself. And you may have noticed that there are a lot more of these narrow misses than in the pi version. The reason lies in the continued fraction expansion of the golden ratio. Every real number has one, and the one for the golden ratio is very neat, at least compared to the one for pi. So there are a lot more fractional approximations for the golden ratio, leading to more narrow misses like this one. But this comes at a cost. More approximations does not necessarily mean better approximations, and indeed, the golden ratio has the worst fractional approximations out of any irrational number.